Hey, welcome back, and welcome to Circuits 101. Now, if you just got a little queasy feeling in your stomach, that's okay, I did too. I'm not a big wiring fan, but it's kind of like vegetables. You chew on them slowly, eventually you'll get them down. So we kind of put together a little circuit here. We've added a relay right off of our Camaro. Now we'll start simple. You know, we got a battery, of course. Normally you're gonna have a positive lead made to a switch. You know, from that switch, you'd normally maybe go to a light or some other little device. You know, back around to the terminal. We've got a full circuit there. Well, we've added a few things. Now we've added a fuse, which is what you're typically gonna have somewhere. We've added a relay. Now what's a relay? It's really a remote switch. If you're gonna run current anywhere, any kind of higher current, whether it be electric fan or fuel pump, you know, in this case, headlights or, you know, these pop open doors, you're gonna to wanna to run, you know, this switch closer to the actual part and run, you know, your heavier gauge wire to this. And then inside your dash, you'll run, you know, light gauge wire, you know, to your switch this way. Now, a relay is basically a coil of wires. If you run current through a wire, you're gonna get a magnetic field. You know, the direction of current, you know, right hand rule, you know, is the field you're gonna get. Now, if you wind these things up tight enough, you're gonna get enough thumbs to push, be able to throw the switch back and forth. So you can see it go from one to the other, you know, based on the current going through that coil. Now, the next thing we've added is a resistor ballast, you know, our ballast resistor. Now, why'd we do that on here? Well, kind of one to show you we can do a voltage drop by adding it in here. So one bulb's gonna be brighter than the other bulb. Well, when we get to do that harness in the back, we're using a points distributor. Now, points will wear out a lot quicker, you know, as the arc jumps across them if we use a higher voltage. So we're gonna use one of these guys to drop it down to say from 12 down to nine. Now, if we were running an HEI, we'd leave this out, we'd put 12 volts right to everything. So, with some of those principles, I'm gonna get back on here, finish wiring this thing, hopefully get this whole side and front end up to snuff.